following the recent parliament session yes. of Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Yes, sir. Any important bills that were transacted during this time? Yes, sir. The uh, 127th Constitutional Amendment Bill, mm -hmm. which gives the power to the states to recognize the OBCs in the respective states. Mm -hmm. uh, the second is the General Insurance Nationalization Bill. Mm -hmm. Then the Taxation Amendment Bill. What is the tax the taxation, taxation law amendment, amendment bill? bill. Sir, I am I have to go into detail about it. Yes. Anything concerning retrospective? Yes, sir. Retrospective. The government has passed the retrospective tax amendment bill, which uh, ideally uh, in a, uh, does not give the government powers to retrospectively tax companies before 2012. So uh, this is in light of the recent Vodafone crisis, the huge amount of dues uh, by the Vodafone which have to be paid to the government, mm -hmm. and the government and the company is in losses. So this is uh, attributed to the retrospective taxation of the government, mm -hmm. and by bringing this bill into uh, the parliament. Why has the government brought this bill now? Are they not foregoing a lot of money? Uh, yes, sir, they are. Any any judgments in any foreign country tribunals, courts? Sir, I can't think of any right at the moment. to the airlines, two private airlines have gone bankrupt. But you were mentioning with the context of Air India that if it is a private sector, if it is a privately managed, better decision etc. So I think the the India there were certain parameters of service delivery that they were not meeting, like timeliness, affordability, customer service, which their competitors like Indian offer and Spicedent were able to meet. And so when it comes to the private sector airlines that were wound up recently, that I think that was more due to the hyper competition, the very low prices that the private airlines are rushing into, so as to appeal to customers. So for that, so I think there has to be some compact between the airlines not to reduce prices to such a low level that they are not able to compete in terms of profit they are, so that their fiscal integrity is not compromised. But others are surviving, like for example, Indigo is there, Goyer is there, Spice Jet is there. They are also in hot competition and they are reducing their fares, but they have survived. So, Certainly, sir, they have survived. But as far as the debt level is concerned, for that industry as a whole, it is a problem. And so I feel that they have survived for now. But if one looks at the future, then fleet expansion, securing international flying rights, for all that they will need capital expenditure funds. And if they are not able to address this price, uh, pricing issue comprehensively, then they could find themselves at a disadvantage in the future. Which are the latest books we have read? 
so i read uh, uh, essential qualities of leader was one book that i have read essential qualities of a leader okay by the retired in the book yes so okay. john c maxwell sir. okay what did you get what are the essential qualities as per that book uh, ma'am uh, according to that book uh, leader should have qualities like uh, uh, he should have the commitment towards the cause that he is working for uh, he should have the confidence and uh, he should be able to communicate with the people and the others who uh, whom he want to rally behind that cause and uh, he should have a proper integral character uh, character uh, to uh, withstand any pressures that he might face in pursuing that cause and uh, he should have the confidence to to uh, pursue his dream uh, these are few qualities that i have uh, uh, read in those books ma'am but do you agree with that would you like to be a leader if you join the civil services yes, for an is officer you need to be a leader yes ma'am so what kind of qualities would you like to have how would you lead yes ma'am ma'am i would like to have the confidence to make good decisions and uh, and i i think i believe i should also make sure that uh, decisions are made after uh, proper uh, considering the stakeholders interest as well and uh, apart from that i should maintain a pro- uh, very integral character as well uh, to withstand any pressures that i might face in the uh, possible future and uh, ma'am uh, i should uh, be uh, empathetic to people's uh, cause as well and that comes under commitment and uh, these are the few values that i would like to imbibe within me